excited and hadn't seen folk in a week or so. You get excited and want to talk all day long. But we thank you for joining us out there in virtual land. We say welcome to the Pine Grove Baptist Church. For truly, we are a church walking by faith and truly not by sight. This morning, and we're going to go ahead and let you know our sermon topic so you can be ready uh, for those of you that may not know what it is. Uh, we're going to come from the uh, Paul's letter, the first letter, the Church of Corinthians. Uh, Paul's letter, 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, and we'll commence with verse number 4. And our subject will be our topic today, what's love got to do with it? What's love got to do with it? So we pray that you have love in your heart. Uh, uh, pushes a button, my brothers and sisters, good, because that's our goal is to get better as we are on this journey. Amen. Well, we're going to have an open prayer uh, um, um, this morning um, by Brother Joshua Street. Then we're going to have a song, and then we're going to just proceed and let the Holy Spirit move us and lead us. And uh, we're just going to have a good time this morning. Amen. 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 Brother Street. Good morning, Piney Grove. Good morning. Good morning. And let us pray this morning. Heavenly Father, we come just to say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Father, we have come through a long journey these yes. past few months, but God, we have today made it to this place. Yes. God, we've made it to this place to praise your name, yes. God, thank and, you, then, and to remember that we depend on you. Yes. Father, the lover of our life. And so, God, we ask for your anointing. We ask for your blessing, God. We ask for your presence in this sensitive time, Father, that you would guide what we do and what we say and what we watch and what we hear. Father, I just ask again, Father, that you would be with us because it is so important to have your presence, oh God. I ask again your presence and your anointing on our pastor as he delivers a word from our In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right, right, right. 
Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I feel a little better now. Amen. I feel a little better now. Amen. We have a, a quick uh, announcement here um, uh, from one of our members, uh, to be exact. And then we're going to come uh, with the food for thought, and then we're going to get to the Word of God here. Is that all right with everyone? Amen. We're going to let you get on about your day because we don't want to never leave the house of God without getting Amen. a word from the Lord. Amen. This is, it says, it's addressed to the Piney Grove Baptist Church. And it says to all of you, yes, yes. it reads, somehow just saying thank you doesn't seem like it's enough. Amen. But I hope you know how much your kindness has meant to me. Yes. And it's signed, love always, Angeline Culpepper. Amen. We thank you, Ms. Angeline Culpepper, for all that you've done and still do for this. Love you so much, Amen. and we thank you for the path that you have. Uh, we follow and that you uh, allow for us to just come behind you. And I thank you, thank you for Amen. being the trendsetters uh, for this ministry and all throughout your life. We love you, Miss Angeline, and to all Amen. of our seniors. Thank you so Amen. much. And at this time, we're going to have a food for thought by Brother Street, and we're going to come back with another song, and then we're going to see what truly love has to do with it. Not from oh uh, the version of the uh, secular term, but we're going to see what love has to do with it according to the scripture. Is that okay? Right. Amen. Brother Street. All right, now. All right. Well, good morning again. Good morning. I've been charged for the food of the food that says there is a season for everything under the sun. Even when we can't see the sun. But can I come to you from John 14 really quickly where it says, Jesus says, a little more and the world will see me no more. But you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. At that day, you will know that I am in the Father. And you, in me, and I, in you. He who, he who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him. But then listen to this. He says, finishing this breath, and manifest myself to him. Yes. What I want you to get from that is, just like there is a season for everything, we serve a God for every season. We serve a God that is there. We serve a God who's going to strengthen us. We serve a God that's going to help us. is going through a season. Oh, yeah. We're going through trial and tribulation. Oh, yeah. We are being torn at the seam. Yeah. But can I let you know that we serve a mender? Yeah. Can somebody say we serve a mender a today? Mender. Somebody who knows how to sew. Yes, he will put together what was torn. Yeah. No man shall put it yeah. We will come out victorious. Yeah. Shout amen one more time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And amen. Thank you. In my mind. 
and helping us in prayer Amen. and giving us our food for thought Amen. for today. In absence of Reverend Terry, his lovely wife, and Reverend Harris, we truly miss Amen. you all. And we yes. pray for Amen. safe travels. Yes. Amen. But the question was asked, is there any word from the yeah. Lord? Yeah. Right. And that answer was asked, and all the question was answered, yes, there is. I would like to invite you for the time, beloved, that we have to share together. 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. The fourth verse is where I'll commence my reading in just a few of the following. 1 Corinthians, Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth. It's called the Love Chapter. It's known as the Love Chapter. I will begin my reading here. 1 Corinthians 13, once again, verse number 4. And the Holy Writ reads as such. Your version may say charity. Understand they're interchangeable. Charity and love means the same thing. Mm -hmm. My Bible reads, the New King James Version says in verse number 4, Love suffers long yeah. and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Love is not puffed up. All right now. Love does not behave itself rudely. Mm -hmm. Love doesn't even have a mind to even think or seek its own. That's all right. Love is not provoked. You can't provoke love. Amen. Love thinks right. no evil. Right. Love does not rejoice in iniquity. It simply means sin. I don't get happy when you sin or you mess up. That's all right. Because I'm going to mess up just like it. You are. So love does not get excited and rejoice in iniquity, but it rejoices. This nation has a problem with the truth. But love rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, and it endures all things. And I want to stop in the A part uh, of that uh, eighth verse. Mm -hmm. Love never fails. That concludes our scripture right. reading. For the grass wither and the flower fades, but the word right of our God shall right, stand man. forever. Amen. Amen. Once again, for a topic, if I can tag this text this morning, I would like to say or ask the question or the interrogative, what love, what's love got to do with it? What's love got to do with it? Since my sister Hunter gonna help me preach this morning, thank you for being on my notes and helping a brother out this morning. Right. But if you could go back and check the secular meaning of that, you would find that that was a movie. All right, now. that that song was made. Yeah, that's right. Y'all know Ike. Come on. And some people say Ike versus T. Yeah. <laughs> I leave that alone. But Ike and T. Y'all y'all know the story. Y'all yeah. even played the song. What's love got to, got to do with it? My Lord. And hearing that song play all the last two weeks in my mind, that's all I can think about. What's love got to do with it? And then another one popped in my mind that loving you is wrong. Right. Somebody got stuck. Yeah, I don't want it. Be right. Be right. But love, my brothers and sisters, is the opposite of hate. That's right. And I'm going to be honest with you, as I try to be, as Brother James said at this moment, we try to be as transparent as possible. Don't have too much to hide. What you see is pretty much what you're going to get. I find myself, my brothers and sisters, with all of this going on in America today, mm -hmm. yeah. with the killing of black lives all across America, I know yeah. it's a topic that makes some cringe and makes some wonder why. Is this still going on? Yeah. Years and years and years later of social injustice and, 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 and prejudices all over the world, racism, and it, it's, it's, it's bad that it's all these years and we're still yeah. dealing with the same thing over and over yeah. and over. Yeah. We've tried to sit down and have conversations. As a matter of fact, we've even tried to kneel. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And kneel didn't quite get yeah. it. And now, yeah. and don't get me wrong, I'm not with anybody rioting and looting anyway. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give you something that may can help you, though, right. if you take it to heart, because it was 382 days, if my memory serves me correctly, that the Montgomery Board bus got, you remember when they boarded yeah. that, you know, the bus got, with the, with the bus, y'all remember that, right? 382 days, yeah. we as African Americans did not step on that bus. That's right. And do you know, my brothers and sisters, we didn't have to do no loot. No. Uh, we didn't have to do no shoot. Yeah. What we had to do is take money away. Yeah. Somebody gonna get that on the way home and you that. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanna hit somebody in the pocket, you, 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 you don't support their business for about 382 days of not having any income. Come
coming in. I don't know about y'all, but my house, boy, I'm about to have to move in with some of y'all. Yeah. Go back to mama's house. That's a long time. Yeah. Not to be without money, but a love is just something that this country seems that they don't quite understand. Oh, yeah, uh, we get mad and we kneel, we get mad and we speak up. Look, time is out for trying to keep a brother in their place. Yeah. Some days you know, days of Jim Crow, days of segregation, and they're over, my friend. So yeah. we have to learn to get along and love ye yeah. one another. And some of the greatest quotes that I've ever come across, and I'm trying to be mild and get through, we'll discuss the rest of that Bible study. Please join us. I put the number out there on social media. But Dr. MLK had some quotes. But before I get to those quotes, I don't know about you all, but I told you I wanted to be transparent as possible. Yeah. I've had a struggle, Brother James. I've had a struggle. Mr. Russell, in the last two or three weeks, yeah. I've had a struggle of having the spirit of Malcolm yeah. in me one moment. Come on. And then having the spirit of Dr. King in me the right. other moment. Right. For those of you who don't quite understand uh, 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 um, how poverty there, let me shout with you. Uh, uh, Malcolm X didn't play. In other words, don't let me soup fool you. Yeah, yeah, by any means necessary. I'm not, not by no means am I bound, but don't let the soup fool you. And then Dr. King was more of a peaceful man. Then ML, then, then, then Malcolm X, and, and sometimes if you be honest with yourself, and you don't have to right now, I'm just lying, I'm just putting it all out there. Yeah. There's some days I can yeah. wrestle with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, police officer get behind me, and I kind of cringe right. in Manchester the other day. Yeah. It happened to me two times in one day, for George, and that kind of threw, not that I was scared, but I was a little on the yeah. edge. Yeah. I have a wife at home. I have children at home. Yeah. I have sons that look like it. And, and, and oh, if you've yeah. never been in the skin that I'm in, or a lot of us in, my brother, this is tough yeah. to understand. I get it. Yeah. But let me read some of the quotes of Dr. King and Malcolm X, and maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from before I address the text. Dr. King said, hate cannot drive out. Hate. Amen. Only That's love right. can do that. Right. Yeah. Can do that. Saxon brothers and sisters, to my evangelical friends, I need you all to please pay close attention. Hit rewind and hit play for me today. Yeah, because yeah. this one stuck at me real like a sore thumb. Our lives begin to end the day we be silent Come on. Yeah, about yeah. the things that matter. Yeah. Yeah. If we're silent about the things that matter, then we're not really helping the cause. We are pretty much part of the problem. Yeah. And to throw this out there, Black Lives Matter yeah. is not a racist group. Yeah. No, it's not a movement. You have to do your research yeah. and find yeah. why that was a creator. Yeah. If you need some help, please, well, let me go ahead and help you. It was because of the event with Trayvon Martin and his yeah. family. Yeah. Letting people know that, yes, all lives do matter. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But you know what? All lives can't matter hey. until those brown lives and black lives start to but I like Dr. King here. Injustice anywhere yeah. All right. is a threat to justice everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Oh my God, there's some good quotes Dr. King had here. Yeah. Yeah. Dealing with love, because if you love your fellow man or your woman, my right. brothers and sisters, you'll do whatever it takes That's right. to make sure that they're treated fairly, justly, and right. Yeah. Once again, in Atlanta, Georgia, here we go. How am I a threat to you? If I'm running from you, yeah, yeah. I'm out threat to you. If I have a counterfeit twenty dollar bill, I don't know if it's real or not. Yeah, yeah. Unless I put a marker on it, I'm out threat to you. Yeah. If I can't breathe, yeah. how am I out threat to you, my brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah. I cannot help yeah. the way that I look. Yeah. Don't judge a man by how he looks. You judge a man by the content of his character. Yeah. But as I proceed to move on with Dr. King, he had a few more, my brothers and sisters. The time is always right yeah, yeah. to do what is right. right. Uh, and in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but we will remember the silence yeah. of our friends. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to leave you with this last quote. Dr. King said, I've decided to stick with love. I don't know about y'all. i decided to stick with love. Yeah. Yeah. Because hate is just too great of a burden. All right now. To even try to bear. That's right. 
And when I look at this country and look at this world, my brothers and sisters always in a turmoil. If you don't have Christ in your life, yeah. you need to grab a hold of him just as quick as possible yeah. and find that you have to stand on something. Because right yeah. now the word of God is all that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Malcolm X said these word racism is like a Cadillac. They bring out a new one every year. I'm going to say that one more time. Try to miss that because when you say Malcolm X, man, they automatically think violence. Malcolm X was a very smart individual. And he said racism is like a Cadillac. They bring out a new one every year. The text, my brothers and sisters, that get ready to get out your way. Oh! Let's us know here that the church of Corinth was lacking something. Yes. Okay. And the Bible speaks of things that lacks because it's in plain church. Okay, verse number one says, Though I speak with tongues, men of angels, but have not love. In other words, can I make it plain? You can come to church and you can shout, you can hold the front row. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't, you can speak in tongues. Right. But Paul said, if you don't have love, Paul said, you miss it. On the other side, they don't have, but they're hiding behind the Bible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's one thing that bothers me for folks to hide behind Scripture. Oh, yeah. Because if you really want to hide behind the Bible, the Bible tells us in the book of Exodus, the book of Leviticus, oh, it tells us that if you murder or strike a man, yeah. the Bible said the same thing should be done to you. Yeah. Now that's the book. Yeah. I didn't make it up. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Yeah. Since you want to hide behind that, but I'm going to hide behind love. That's I'm right. going to stick with love here yeah. because Paul says that's what the church at Corinth lacked. And as we look at it here, we'll find out that he talks about unity in verse number 12. But he said love suffers long. Y'all yeah. know how long love is. Long. Love is long. That's all I can say is long. I don't have a measuring tape. I, I can't put a, a, a measuring to it, but it is long. Yeah. And one thing is, next to being long, the Bible says, Paul said it's time. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Paul said it's kind. It's kind that you're going to put your knee on my neck yeah. for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Now, that's not love, my friend. Love is not going to choke me to death. Love is not, I understand you have to do your job, but you can't de-escalate a situation. Now, don't we parents do it all the time? Yeah, they always tell me, don't whip your child while you are angry because you may hurt her. Yeah. You may do something that you regret. You, you, you have to de-escalate a situation the best that you can. Yes, we're not trying to put all police officers in a category. No, we're not trying to do that. But there are some. They tell me now. This is just me. I grew up in the country. Go ahead. And they tell me, son, don't put the bad apples yeah. over in the barrel with them. Yeah. You put out them because one bad apple. Oh, oh y'all must have grew up in the country too. Let us all a whole bunch. Yeah. But love is kind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, love doesn't see color. Yeah. You know what? We all see color. Yeah. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it shouldn't matter to you. We all see it. Yeah. If I held two crayons up here to my children in the back, I guarantee you that's a yellow one. That's a green one. Yeah. Yeah. We all see color. We do. But it should not matter from a human perspective. Yeah. Right. And you see, love, my brothers and sisters, is an action word. Yeah. Yeah. People say, oh, I told you I love you. But your, your, your actions. Yeah. Social media land, some of you gonna have to probably clean up what you messed up. Yeah. And you might have to go through Facebook and do a little deleting. Don't look at me funny, because I've done it. I promise you, I'm yeah. still doing it. Yeah, yeah, you have a problem with what's going on and what's right, delete. Yeah. I can't say some of the words that one guy said. He said, I'm just delete, 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 so and so, so and so. You gotta tell the truth and shame the devil. You, 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 you can't live, you have to have been living under a rock. Yeah, your heart not to have hurt for an individual, a human life, to be taken. You'll speak against certain things, but you won't speak against the issue. Yeah. Come on. And, and that, that gets me, that bothers me. But you know what? Still, yeah. it hurts, but I got to keep love right. in my heart. Right. Yeah, that's one thing we as people don't teach. We don't teach hate. We teach love, hate. And you, you have really have got to be around some hateful folk to be Definitely. hateful because birds of a feather. I'm about to go. I'm I'm to go. To go. Yeah. Love does not envy. I'm not mad hey. because hey. you have a little more than I have. Hey. No, no, no. I'm not mad because yeah. you have a little more. But you are. There are those out there who got mad over the years. 
I could travel back in the time in 1921 to find Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wanted to keep us segregated. Yeah. Yeah, we good now. We got our banks. We got our whole village. Come on. But you don't like what I have, so you what gives you the right yeah. Yeah. to come in and blow up my neighborhood? Yeah. Blow up my home. Yeah. Burn my church. Come yeah. on now.
our service for the day. My brothers and sisters, what does love have to do with it? That was a rhetorical question, but love has everything to do with it. To all of my brothers and sisters out there who've been lacking in love, my brothers and sisters, get the love of God in your home. Do what the scriptures say about love. We can't worry about the norm. Do what is right, as Dr. King said. Now is always the best time to do what is right. God bless you and may the Lord keep you in my prayer. Have a wonderful week, my brothers and sisters. God bless you.